everybody welcome back we are quickly loading on in to pool b round four again we're, we're sticking with infinite esports because this is a team we're just trying honestly comica we're trying to figure out where they stand in the overall leaderboards right we we kind of don't know and guess what their next challenge is possibly the best team at this event they're going up against acrylic what are your thoughts about this map one and how do you think they're going to go up against acrylic well this is a map that we did get to see them against the second seed team right now which is onyx and it was it was pretty dang it was okay they just had a few moments where they had some lapses in judgment and their opponents were able to take the game away from them based off of that but as long as they can do some better holding than they did the last time i think they can have a they still have a pretty good shot of winning this map to be honest yeah, they have a good shot, and I think they kind of went off to a slow start, and... Oh, Conway, he just... Oh, he might have caught out Don. Not quite there, and... Oh, Don gets a little cheeky drop shot. I'm not sure if he's going to realize another player is coming. And number seven, I like this by Choco. He's just kind of sitting this one, waiting it out. Savini does end up seeing that one player through the fog of war, and he might have gotten that stun check onto Choco, and he absolutely will. Vader, he's going to hop on into the point. Savini caught in between two players. Will he catch out anybody? Yes, he does. He needs one more. Don gets it, and so Savini just staying alive. He's on three kills in a row. So far, this P2 hill should go in favor of Infinite. Yes, it should, definitely. But we I saw in the last series, one of their big struggle points was actually holding on to objectives on this map. Every single hill, whether they got the rotation to it or not, was incredibly dicey. So we're going to see if they're able to hold it better this time. But Freaky looking Whoa. to go in and absolutely uproot them from this objective. And that's damn well what they do. Acrylic taking candy from a baby on this P2. Yeah, what a break. Another just incredible moment for Acrylic. They needed to go big. And guess what? They're starting to line up the kill feed as Vader. He's free fired. It actually gets a few wall bangs onto Choco. Still, it does not phase him. And they get the break at 40. They get the last 20. Conwell already on the rotation. And he already takes down Roblox Kid. So, Acrylic, this is a team that really can go the distance and really win it all if they want. It's just a matter of can they do it and get it done on a consistent, consistent basis. And right now, it's looking like they can. Yep. Good rotation here. Freaky going to be the sole survivor here for now. As long as he can hold up against Savini, he is good to go. But teammates are going to be here as well for Acrylic. And cool. so first push and best opportunity for Infinite Esports is going to be shut down by Acrylic. And so from here, any pushes are going to be very difficult to take cool. away from Acrylic. And Choco, he is 9 and 1. Another four player down. Acrylic, they have been waiting to play and they are showing out. Pures, he's not missing. Freaky 10 and 5. Everybody starting to fry as they are putting Infinite in an early blender and not looking back. They're putting on the absolute fastest mode as Pures gets another one too easy. Dot's going to go on the challenge, but again, the teamwork is too dang clean for acrylic oh this is so good from acrylic especially pures look at that the free fire through the window but yeah he will still get streaks before he dies infinite esports trying to stabilize a little bit this so scoreline might look pretty terrible but this is still one of those maps where you can if you stabilize you can string some good hills together just like acrylic did and you can get right back into this game i've seen people come back from much much worse crap I couldn't agree with you more, but again, it's just really plain, and God, just look at Acrylic. They are playing off of each other perfectly, and oh, they go a two-team kill. So Savini, though, doubles them up, and he saves the hill for Infinite. This has been a perfect hold for them, and again, they will get a full 60. They will find themselves down by round 20 if they're not able to do so. And still, Savini, he's going to be left in a crucial 1v1. Freaky tries to get aggressive, and oh, no, he shoots oh. the body early he has no respect for infinite clearly not disrespecting the dead body no respect for the dead and now infinite esports looking to state their claim at this next objective but clearly it doesn't come for free acrylic always looking to take their tax at least a couple of seconds gonna go their way before a break vader does get the better of one and almost a second good attempt but still acrylic firmly in control over this objective even when they're not getting hill time there's they've set themselves up in a way where infinite are pretty much never really able to go on without getting shot 
And right now, again, it's, there's moments where Infinite, great teamwork, and then there's others where they needed to wait a half a second to, to find a kill with their teammate and at least put the numbers back in their advantage. So it's a matter of can they just do it for the entire game? It feels like there's just small glimpses of hope and then immediately they get shut down. And wow, what a radius that was from the Semtex. was not expecting the kill to come through, but they are allowing... The last 20 seconds, you desperately need a hill on this cantina. The last time around, they got broken down. Still, they're finding these opening kills, but two players pushing through the middle. Savini should be there for the assist, and they line up. But a 70-point game, you have a long road ahead of you if you're infinite. Oh, yes, you do. It's obviously still a doable game, but it's more doable when you don't grenade your own teammates. Conway going to get a little bit taken down by Savini, and they're holding them at a little bit of a distance, which is good. Savini will be their first point of entry, and he's in a gr set up greatly in order to deal with them multiple at a time. Freaky trying to run him down, but Savini does get away, playing back more towards his teammates. I like that, and I like that a lot. But Acrylic, they're starting to get the surround ready, ready to push from multiple different angles. And it does depend on if they're ready. Caught in the hip fire animation, but two players stuck in the same spot. Daunt does get the better of him, though, and Pure's all alone with very minimal HP. Gonna get stunned up. They're looking for the shell. He's looking for the knife, but does not find an infinite esports, taking a very much needed amount of time. <laughs> that was just a funny moment, right? He's like, yep, I'm probably not gonna win this close range with the sub because I'm weak, tries to pull out the knife. Either way, he does get stunned. And, ooh, Vader. Good little sound cue right there as he takes down one. Unfortunately, the rest of Acrylic, they are fully set up. And the one player that has been really a staple in the side of Infinite is has been Roblox Kid, and he is getting shut down 6-16. Six and 16. And you need him to start getting set up as the kills. They are just starting to rock and roll for Acrylic, and they're absolutely taking it to Infinite. Definitely can say that again. Acrylic, they're looking to break 200 off this objective right here. Not a hill that you're typically able to get a lot of time at a time off of. Invader's going to try and make that the case, but ooh, Infinite oh. are kind of getting zoned to one side of the map, and that is the side that Acrylic wants them to come from. And so Acrylic will just keep on killing these guys on repeat, all being able to look the same direction, just hold the angle. It's nice and easy for Acrylic with the way they set it up. And see, that was one of those moments where you are, they were just going two at a time, right? If they had a full team, they might have been able to, you know, take damage, bait and switch. It just was not there. And now look at the streaks coming on in from Acrylic Shiesty in a great spot. And he should be able to grab two, or at least his teammate finds the second Savini. Gonna maybe try to push up through the middle of the map, but this has been a class act when it comes to hardpoint. Don, he gets taken down. All the angles are perfectly being held from the acrylic standpoint, and they are slain. They are getting the time. Talk about picture perfect Call of Duty and hardpoint acrylic. They are getting it done. Yes, they are very close to victory now. Obviously, still doable for Infinite just because of the map we're on, but they have to make sure that they are able to defend these objectives. Acrylic. They are in a little bit of an interesting position, only two left alive and no control over the middle of the map. They are going to be able to keep these spawns their way though, but they do. They are still having a little bit of an opening here where Infinite, if they do try really hard and they and they execute well, can take this objective away from them. Killing Kanwa now as well. Oh. Pure is going to find one across the map, and with that kill from Chaco as well, that is that push dead in the water for Infinite. Dead in the water, and it just feels like again. Look at the map where Infinite their players are. It just feels like there there was the team challenge they needed, but still, it just feels like it's too late in the game. You're really relying on one final break, and they are getting shot from every single angle. And right now, Vader, the only one left alive to maybe find an opening. Don gets taken down, and will he get this read? And Choco is watching over. This is incredible from Acrylic, and finally. Roblox does break double digit kills, but it's at 240 for the side of Infinite, and this is an incredible map one for Acrylic. Yep, and it will end an incredible map one for Acrylic as well. 250 to 123. Showing Infinite just how to do it on this map. Better rotations, better breaks, better holds, better everything. Better everything. You see. I mean, they got stomped out. It was the embers where they're like, hey, maybe we can catch fire since there's it's been a little bit dry in Colorado the past few days, but nope, it got stomped out. Everybody negative. It just came down to simply slay power and teamwork. And 
again, when the side of Infinite were successful, they had team holds, they had team pushes, and they just felt when they were getting out slayed that somebody had to try to make a play, and that's just not gonna work with a team as experienced as Acrylic. Yep, and now we go into a mode where Acrylic, I would say, is very, very good. I've seen Kanwa do disgusting, unspeakable things <laughs> to people in Search and Destroy, especially the last one I cast him in. I think what well, I, I saw him get like the most insane 3k or ace, something like that. It either way, he he stands out in my mind as a player that's really good in search and destroy. Great overwatch with the AR. And so yeah, on a map like this, it definitely pays off, whether it's in the middle of the map or you're trying to get any of your opponents from pushing onto the A bomb site. So yeah, Kanwa, pretty much I could literally point to anyone on this team, and they're mm -hmm. all very good in search and destroy graph. They all have that skill set, and it really comes down to the, the the word I love to use is intangibles, right? It's just something that you can't teach. They just know when the timing is coming. They know exactly where a player is coming through. They're holding each other's angles, and it, some of it you can't be taught when you just absolutely go God mode, and any one of those players can do it. Now, when it comes to infinite we've seen their search it's it's such a big question mark there's moments where it's like dang they looked really good they completely smoked them and then there's moments like what was that why did they just do that when they were so good earlier it's a matter of i think if infinite take this one it's just a good sign that if they take a search and destroy from one of the top teams that they really can compete but in the respawn right now oh man that was that was just masterclass from the side of acrylic yeah it really was these guys are really good at hard point as well it's it's very rare that i see them lose very many of those and so yeah i think that if we're going to be seeing infinite looking for a pathway to victory it's going to be in the search and destroy which is still very difficult or it's going and it's also going to be in the control as well control has been hit or miss for them tonight mm -hmm. last series it was pretty dang good for them and so yeah, I, I'm not completely eliminating the possibility that they do win it, although I do favor Acrylic. Obviously, I picked them to win the land for a reason in my pickums. But yeah, it's it's still up for debate. Infinite could still give them a little bit of a run for their money. They absolutely could. They have the talent. It's just a matter of making it all click. And again, that game could have been closer. Roblox had such a slow start. I think he was like 6-18 and 18 through that first set of rotation. So he was getting completely crushed and when he has been the player that has been that staple when he is doing bad the rest of the team is not doing well either so it kind of really it really depends on all their players hitting their stride at the same moment but everybody is loaded on and we're ready to hop on in to this mercado search and destroy comco what is your prediction coming on into this map too my prediction uh that's that's a little bit of a tough question to be totally honest with you I've I've seen I've seen Infinite get uh, full sales. I've also seen them completely kick a team's butt. So I don't really know what to think. I I think that I would still give this map to Acrylic. I just think that while we have seen some vast strides being made by by Infinite in the last series, uh, I don't know if it's going to be enough to where they're they're able to beat a team like like here. But I put Acrylic like here. So don't know if they're quite there yet. We'll find out. So you're taking Acrylic in this map too. This is, yes. uh, I think, going to be, it, it's going to be a nail biter. And I don't think that Infinite's going to win this series. But if they take a map, it's going to be this search because they've been pretty good overall. They just need that clutch factor. And I think they found it in that last series. They're, they have a lot more confidence, you can tell, coming on into it. It's still, it's just those micro decisions that's really gonna make the difference. And already, it's Pures opening up with a beautiful nade over the top. Yep, right onto Daunt, the one person you don't want to get hit your main entry sub, but they do get freaky right on back, so their entry sub is gone as well. So it's a like for a like. But I'm just curious how much util Infinite still have left after that initial merge. It didn't look like they threw it overly too too much. If they did, though, they're going to be in a little bit of a rough time. Throw in another stun. Yeah, it looks like Infinite is starting to run a little bit low on Util in order to break them out of these positions, especially in a round without trophy systems yet. You're going to really need to make the most out of that. Otherwise, Pierce is just going to sit here all game. And yeah, and it forces Roblox Kid to reposition. He actually has a sniper, and I actually don't think Pierce saw him. And so he's actually looking for the ace. He picks up the AR and 
catches a reloading Pures, and now he puts himself into the 1v2. A very difficult situation. Picks up the bomb and actually gets information on a choke when he has dead silence. This could be the play, but Conwell is watching the cross. Oh, he actually gets the read, and oh, wow, that could have been interesting, but still the teamwork on point for Acrylic. Yep, a little bit too much brain power coming out here from Acrylic. Every single time I see these guys, they do a really good job at baiting each other's baiting each other's trades, basically. Like, I'm Conwell, I'm shooting over here, and then as soon as I start to get a little bit weak, I let my teammate know how much I hurt him for, he should shell out, and then other dude goes in and finishes him off. They're always in close proximity to be able to do that for each other, and that's that's just such a big edge that I've seen them have over a lot of the teams they've played in recent history. And ooh, freak too shysty. He takes down the sniper and Roblox kid. And guess what? That is middle of the map open. It is all towards B and Dot. He's the player that's going to have to get the information. He can see all the, all the stuns, all the tacticals getting used right now. And they're maybe thinking about this. But again, you need to deal with that sniper. Nobody has moved from infinite and this is going to be a difficult retake number four he's all the way across shiesty with the pre-aim the shot is there and guess what he might find even more Ooh, mrs savini still he's gonna allow and put his teammates in a great spot to close out this round yep savini all alone it's not gonna try and come in from the opposite side but acrylic they've got literally every single angle covered Savini's going to have to play some serious baiting game for his team, and even with that, they, they did get some good progress, but not nearly enough. Acrylic, another round. Looking good, and again, it was post-plant setup. They know how they want to play this one, and it kind of feels like Infinite, their map pool is very selective. We've seen them play Mercado, or we haven't seen them play Mercado. I did early when I was kind of sitting out there watching. And so they've kind of been playing the same maps and they played Mercado twice on the hard points. They haven't been able to really come away with too many dominant victories. So I think this is one where they just kind of have to figure out what is their strongest map and the other teams, they've been playing their vetoes. And I actually saw Conway, he was actually sitting next to me earlier in the day while the A stream was going on, trying to get any information, had a good little chat with him. Look at Pierce, he gets aggressive and oh, he does get taken down Savini, but the trade is immediately there. Yep, as typical for Acrylic, always in a good position to either get a bait out kill or a trade. Great shot from Roblox Kid though, from down trade? the way. I think they did just trade, actually. I'm like, wait, he died after he killed He died before he killed him? Either way, oh, Daunt, so unfortunate. Literally, he was in a good spot, but didn't realize that the opponents were behind him. And Acrylic now go up three to zero. And I need to get a clip of that trade-out kill, though, dude. That was insane. I wish we could have actually seen that, because you, when was the last time you saw a sniper trade-out? I, I don't think Literally I've ever never. seen one. Yeah, so that's actually incredible. Still, nonetheless, guess who closes out the round? It's Acrylic. They have just been on their business. Vader 0 and 3 sitting in the Dunkin' Donuts line. He has yet to get his order, even though he placed it about 20 minutes ago. Who is the fool? But Vader, you know how talented he is. He could tear it up at any single moment. But look at the three stack coming in. Savini, the reposition is there. He's going to get all the information that the players are pushing on in to the tin or the elephant room. Oh, but they have intel on him too. They got the stun and they're going to probably expect him to be by this dumpster. Looking for him, but oh, not expecting him to be literally right there, Chaco. Unfortunate. And now they're going to fly out at him. Here is this a trade-out kill, but trade's going to be done again. And Vader even getting to big moment there for Vader especially if they go out to win this round. Literally, the bomb was dove into their spawn as well, so Freaky got a lot of picking up to do. And he doesn't have a sniper to work with, and oh, what a time he did! Oh, Doc, my goodness. A little scary of a challenge right there is, I think they have to know that Freaky does have the snipe, and as he saw the glint of the scope, and now in a 1v2, and the bomb is down in probably the most difficult spot in the map to get it in a long hallway in close quarter situation as Freaky. He's waiting for anybody to peek, and I'm not sure if Infinite have that information. He's just trying to bait out, and guess what? They're not falling for it. Yep, playing real smart here, Infinite. Learning from their mistakes, just playing out the clock. I think they know they have the bomb down too, and as soon as they have the safest possible angle on him, 
they take care of it. And so now, Infinite Esports, it may have, a few rounds may have gone the other way, but as we've seen from their previous games, if you know what I mean, <laughs> it's never too late to start winning rounds. <laughs> never too late indeed, and that one actually just came down to Vader finding that two-piece, because the trade would have been there in Acrylic's favor, but the two-piece from Vader gives them the edge, and it just forced Shiesty to have to reposition, not having another weapon in his arsenal besides the pistol. Couldn't necessarily get as aggressive in Infinite. They just knew not to throw anything away. But here come the nades. It's the trophy saving everybody from the side of Acrylic. But look at Pierce. So aggressive. Savini not able to peek out quick enough. But the tray is immediately there. And it will be quickly into the 3v3. Yep. And Chaco getting another one down. So, that does put them in a 2v2 currently over on A, which still does favor the defense. Oh. Great nade from Chaco. Oh my goodness, dude. And they see Vader's gun peeking out, so they wall bang him. Unfortunate. Now, Acrylic. Back into their winning ways. Three points clear of Infinite once again. Choco, this guy has been on an absolute beam as the wall bangs are through seven and two and he actually started off nine and one on the hard point as well so he is currently locked in for the side of acrylic and it's four v or four to one infinite you need to start playing a little bit i think slower because acrylic they're getting aggressive or at least one player is and he keep finding the picks and it looks like Infinite is going to get incredibly aggressive here. Nothing going towards A, but ooh, Freaky getting a little bit hit upside the head. Fishing for a kill with the nade. And it's Savini playing the close angle, gets caught on the cross, so they're oh. fishing very greedily for a kill in that nade. Oh, very dangerous, the close to Roblox. Oh, no, and I don't know how I feel about that challenge from Savini. You have that information. Don in a 1v3, now a 1v2. He knows the player is a ball boom, and he takes down Choco, and that's a big kill. Is it another 1v3 for Infinite? This could give them a slight momentum boost. And guess what? It's Freak to Shiesty with the snipe in hand. He's going to toss out the stun. Actually gets a check, but does he realize he's down low? That's the question. That is the question. At least he, um, yeah, now he'll have his answer. Hits that door, and he's like, oh, he's right at the door. Shoots him dead. And so, well, well waited from Daunt. Playing off of his uh, good headset there. And so... Yeah, still in this game, quite obviously, but I don't know, man. It's it's at the stage where I'm like, yeah, they're they're starting to get some rounds back, but at the same time, we've got we've got a big lead for acrylic, and if they keep trading one for one like this, eventually infinite is mathematically going to have to start winning a couple of rounds in a row. And they got saved. Another 1v3 for the side of Infinite. Again, Don, he, that was just acrylic. You know, they just felt so confident that they're challenging. Freaky actually puts away the sniper and tries to get aggressive through the middle. But look at Connell. Look at the angle. And he will take down Savini in the middle of the map. So we'll quickly go to the 3v3. But it, it kind of feels like maybe the side of Infinite are starting to change up their strategy. It feels like they're starting to slow down, play a little bit more to their strength. But Pierce, oh, this is going to be, this could be deadly. This could be deadly. He could find a lot of players. And guess what? He gets one. Will he get the read as Vader finds one? But now Dot, again, in a clutch situation, he has the information where Conway is. And oh, no, he gives it up. Ooh, this is going to come down to another clutch moment for the side of Infinite. Dot, this is for streaks as well. Oh, and this is risky too. He's leaving the bomb behind right in the hands of Conwa. And I think Conwa, he sees it. He has to know he's literally laying right on top of that bomb, right? You would think so. So Daunt, playing with streaks, playing with his life, and playing with a round win here. Looking for Conwa. Oh. Oh, the nade in hand dies. Cod timing, favoring Infinite once again as they draw even closer to Acrylic. Oh, that is... Oh, that's just tough again because yet yeah, he heard the sound cue of the cook of the nade. And again, another clutch moment for Infinite, and they pulled themselves within one, so maybe they're starting to gain that confidence. Well, at least Dot is. He is 10 and 4, 6 in a row. The man is putting the Infinite Esports backpack on with the hard carry currently. And for Acrylic, I think they're starting to, to give up a few challenges that they necessarily shouldn't. They're feeling a little overconfident, I'm thinking, but look at 
everything being tossed from the kitchen sink. Dot a little bit too aggressive. He will fall. Savini tries to follow it up. And again, it was just those 1v1 moments. And oh, Vader, he's he's in a very tough spot. He can feel the challenge and nobody is there. Roblox, he gets overwhelmed. And again, that was a moment where Infinite, they just went one by one into challenges and Acrylic made them pay. Trying to get a little bit of aggressive, trying to... Yeah, just seemed like they wanted to try and pick up the pace on their opponents, try and apply a little bit of pressure, but that didn't seem to be a really working strategy up against this team. Might have worked up against some of the other guys they played up against previously, but clearly uh, Acrylic is a little bit not quite like them. And, I mean, obviously they know that now, and they'll have to play accordingly. What do you decide to do here? Infinite, they, they have not favored B at all, which is surprising. They've just constantly gone and headbutted towards A, and they haven't been able to win a majority of the trades, so they need to start changing something up. And Dot, you have a kill streak in the back pocket. Do you decide to use it? As all the angles are being held, Choco gets hit down so low, but stays alive, and here comes the streak. And Shicey actually takes down Roblox Kid, and everybody flies on in right into Savini. The trades are in, and quickly, that is a three for one, infinite in a 2v1. Kanwa, though, the captain. Can he clutch and will he get this Call of Duty timing? Will he find the player out? Vader doesn't get away. It's a 1v1 and none other than the man Don himself. Don, it's been in this situation before. Doesn't want Kanye, Kanwa to defuse. Doesn't want Kanwa to kill him. Trying to weigh those two options. As he does make his way around, making his way back upstairs. I think that Kanwa is probably hearing this a little bit. I don't think Don quite has the dead silence back up anymore. So, Kanwa does have to move very slowly because he doesn't have daddy either. And now oh. Don hears him starting to burst into speed and does get the better of him. Good waiting game being played by Don once again. So clutch. My goodness, he is keeping infinite and holding on by a thread. And I want to point out here, Kamika, it is seven first bloods for Acrylic right now to the only two of infinite. And it really is showing because they had to clutch a 1v2, a 1v1, and a 1v3 to get it to this 4-5. I'm still just kind of shocked and... Guess what? Acrylics, they're just going to go back to Old Faithful at A because it's been working for them. There has been no answer from Infinite. Yep, Infinite just sitting, waiting, trying to measure their aggression, but that nade from Chaco is so huge. And Fader now falling as well. Daunt really got to be that guy once again for Infinite Esports. They are really putting some good pressure on. He's completely behind him, though. They've left him behind. Kama falling, and now knows that the turn is about to come. Trying to back on off before the push does catch him out. Bomb plant going down. Oh, Chaco getting the better from it. It's all on Savini. Trying to escape. Freaky, but can't get away. And Acrylic will shut down any attempt at a comeback from Infinite. Again, guess what kept ha I'm so confused from Infinite. He got hit up by every single nade for four rounds in a row on A. Like, what are you doing? Just wait for the nades to come on in and then force them to just get the bomb plant. They were just giving away free lives. Oh, just a very, very awkward moment in Infinite. I think they're lucky to wait. Uh, they're lucky to get away with four rounds because that really should have been a 6-1 or, or potentially a 6-0. I mean, could have been. I mean, Acrylic was doing a really good job that entire time, putting their nades always on point, making sure that they they measure their opponent's aggression and make good counters to it. They're always ready if their opponents are aggressive or if they're not, they could be aggressive themselves. It's These guys are so good. It's, these guys are top challengers for a reason, and it's mm -hmm. why they are so renowned in the community. You can see it right there, making a lot of the right moves in a lot of the right places, more so than everyone else. And so... Yeah, we are going to be seeing them going up 2-0 to zero in the series as we do finally depart from Mercado, but we are going now to El Asilo, a map now that, that Infinite <laughs> is very familiar with, Graf. Very familiar with, indeed. That's the question is, how good are they at it, truly? They ended up getting a 3-1 in the last uh, series, and they really need a 3-1 here now to extend it to the map 4, and it would go to a fortress where that would be an interesting map to see against both of these two teams because it's more of a slay heavy map yeah it matters on rotations but if you can basically out slay which you know there's moments when infinite can do that still they're 
their control has been hit or miss, like you have said. And still, this is a team, Acrylic, they're probably the most fundamentally sound in the entire tournament, and I just don't see them losing this one. I mean, I am in a very similar boat to you on this one, Graph. I, I can't I can't hide it. I, I definitely favor them. But there are definitely some things I've seen from Infinite that could get that make it more of like a it's not a one hundred percent chance, obviously mm -hmm. in my mind. It's it's more of like a it's more of like a seventy thirty cut with you know acrylic having the seventy obviously. Yeah. It, but what what is leading me to that thirty percent and not a hundred percent is the fact that they do have some good moments. They have some like moments of clarity. They're like, oh my goodness, guys, we should just go back and get control over the middle of the map and re figuring out where these guys are at, isolating them, taking them down. They have great moments where they just come together and bulldoze a lot of the t opponents in the middle of the map, but that's not something that's easy. It's easier said than done up against acrylic. Yeah, you can do it up against people that, you know, you can just gun on a consistent basis, but you can't always guarantee that you're going to, oh, that you're going to beat out acrylic players, even when you're 2v1. Yeah, and that's just the talent they have across the board, and you've said it time and time again. Everybody is just such a great individual talent, and so far, yeah, Infinite, they definitely have it, it's just they're not as consistent. That's the biggest thing. And you can tell this team is a top challengers because they could probably play with anybody and still put up great stat lines and have good team games. They might not win as much depending on who they're playing with, but you know what you're going to get out of every single player with their roster. I think for Infinite, if you put one of their players on somebody else, they might not have that same success like they would currently. And so it just really shows how good of a team the side of Acrylic is. And actually, I kind of want to point up the bracket, give everybody an update here real quick and show what has transpired so far in Pool A and Pool B, because we'll have one more round after this. We're going to stick with Acrylic. It's going to go up against the other top contender in New Look. But let's actually pull up, hopefully, the bracket here relatively quick. And what do you see in Comica right now that really stands out to you in Group B? Uh, yeah, what I'm seeing is that Acrylic are just 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0 the whole time, <laughs> and they are, they're, obviously they came into this whole thing my favorites to win it. Kanwa, whenever I see a team with him on it, whenever I see a team with him and Chaco on it, whenever I see a team with him, Chaco, and everyone else on the team on it, it's it's a good sign that they are probably going to get first, at least second, at least in the money generally, and so... Yeah, that's something that I'm looking at here. What I'm also looking at is that, yeah, it's pretty much just been a lot of 3-0s all day. And, um, yeah, I'm looking back at that Infinite versus uh, Onyx game, and that's that's one that I will literally never forget. I've, I've already exhausted the reason to that why. If you guys don't know why, definitely go back and watch it. It is it is a treat. And the, the one thing that is standing out to me is... Are Papa's and New Look Gaming going to like a map five or something? Because that game, has, that series has not been decided, and we're already in map three of round four. So I'm not Ooh. sure. I'm not sure what's going on. So Papa's maybe coming in with a little bit of an upset, and I'm not sure on what map. But New Look, the, there was kind of a question with their roster. I, I know Morph, incredible talent, Kill Rook as well solar an incredible ar but it, it feels like there's moments where one of their players likes to go rogue a little bit too much and maybe that's their kryptonite against maybe underestimating a team like papa's we'll try to get you an update as soon as we can but it looks like all the players they're ready they're locked and loaded to start off here in the map three it's going to be elisilo final prediction comica is this going to a map four or is this going to be a 3-0 again for acrylic uh, I say that this is the end of the series right here. That's just my personal opinion. It might be wrong. I'm prefacing it with that. It's opinion, not necessarily fact. So we will we'll find out if I'm right, right or wrong here, ladies and gentlemen, as we get in here on Ella's Celo. And it all comes down to this. Infinite, this could decide your series. And guess who they have? They have the Grimace Gremlins in the next series coming up. And that's going to be a rival match because they actually dropped a Vixie for Savini. So an interesting choice to say the least. We won't catch that one on stream, but we'll try to keep everybody as updated as we can. But we're talking about what's happening at hand. It's Acrylic looking to close this one out in a 3-0. 
Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed we won't see that match because I was really hoping to see Roblox Kid 7 versus Minecraft Boy 69. That is the name <laughs> of a player on that team, yes? I was hoping for that, but obviously these matches are the matches that are picked for a reason. Yeah, and Savini, he comes in, finds one onto Free, gets the read onto Choco, and that's a good one. He starts off at 2-0, and, oh, and he's just starting to fly, pure as he can hear all the doors banging open. That should allow the players to hop onto the A site temporarily. Savini trying to hold one of these angles on the opposite side. We'll see Freak, but allows Piers to come on in, just finish out that kill. And right now, the players from Infinite, it feels like they're playing a little bit scared, not wanting to hop onto that point. Yeah, this is in complete contrast to how they've played every single other game so far. I think they are definitely learning to respect the damage that acrylic can do and look at that you're never these guys are never alone man you're oh. never in a position where yeah it's it's just like that it's just like that every single time every single challenge acrylic it is suffocating it is dominating it is just uh, insufferable the way that they hold this map and infinite oh, no. esports have oh, not no. been able to leave their spawn Conma looking for even more kills Don does get the better of him and does stop the clock just short of the l but it is going to still be an l nonetheless oh goodness with anybody who has small children i'm sorry you had to witness that round because that was just an absolute beat down they had taken them to a pulp, made it look easy. The setup was just too clean. Like you said, they're just always together in a group, and it was so gosh darn easy on the side of Acrylic. 7-1, 4-2, 4-1, 4-3, and including Freak 2 Shiesty on a 5 kill streak, looking to get that glide bomb early on now it's infinite they have typically been better on the defense so we'll see how they get this one done but nobody watching field side yep freaky by the way coming into this round with the, with the exact same amount of kills as the entire enemy team has coming into this round so that's a pretty crazy statistic obviously no longer true because dot had to get that one kill and everyone else starting to pick pick it up here as well for infinite and so, yeah, not the worst of starts. In fact, I would argue this is a very good start for Infinite Esports, but Freaky just looking to farm up these streaks. It does do just that and farming up a little bit of anger in the hearts of the opponents with some body shots as well, potentially. Looking for a 1v1 with Savini, but not looking quite the right direction to get it. You know, this is the only time where I'm like, you know what, they can shoot bodies. They're dominating the side of Infinite. Maybe not necessarily in this round, but so far in this series, it hasn't necessarily been close. But so far, been a solid defense. And right now, this is where Infinite, don't get overzealous. Play and hold your angles. Force the hand of Acrylic to have to come to you. And Freak is 10 and 2. The guy just can't be stopped right now. And pops to dead silence. He slips on right by one of the players. Savini, though does get one free trying to hunt him down does get the good timing 11 and 2 kiss the read but still vader he was ready for the pre-fire as well acrylic they also have not gotten a point yet so this is kind of interesting to see if infinite can respond with a dominating round of their own I mean, it's not over yet for Acrylic. They're starting to, to get a semblance of a push, but Vader is in a good spot to deny that. Now they know that he's here. Oh, Vader almost oh. with the wraparound, but everybody dead for infinite. That is the worst time that could have possibly happened, especially with the position these Acrylic guys are in. Look at this. They're on the objective. They're looking to get up in their base, but Pures goes a little bit, digs a little bit too deeply and greedily. And now with that, we will see the retake coming in from Infinite Esports, just shy of getting the full cap on B. And I'm not sure, will number six get to the point in time? No, he will not. So you get two ticks, but Infinite, again, we've said they're a little bit better on the defense and they showed it right there. I don't know how you are freaked to Shiesty, you're 11 and four, and you somehow lost that route. It got kind of an interesting moment. I don't think the rest of the players were doing that well so freak has really been a game changer unfortunately not able to come away with that round so he started off 11 and 2 did die three times but either way acrylic you're just looking at the stat line a little bit more dominant and if you're infinite just stick together right now just do not allow these guys to bully you out of points yeah, mathematically, he went 4-4 four four in that round, so Infinite Esports did a really good job of shutting him down, especially in comparison to the previous round. How you do that? Stun him, 
Can't, can't do too much when he can't do movement moves on you when he is stunned and literally rooted to the spot. So, Infinite Esports doing a good job of making the most out of their util, but the trades are just a little bit too even for them to get anything going on either of these objectives yet. And that's a... Ooh, Dead Silence played beautiful stuff. Can Dot find a kill? Barely gets it in. It will be Pierce with a double. Vader not wanting this trade to come through and Beers with the triple headshot makes it look too easy but still there's signs of life here from infinite they need to at least get a, a point right they they cannot go two rounds on offense getting zero ticks and already it's going to be one player savini caught on the reload unfortunate call of duty timing but just look at the way acrylic are bullying them Stick together right now. You don't need to get aggressive yet. You have time. Play off of each other. And guess what? They're just not doing it. They are feeling the pressure. And they're starting to crumble once again. Yep. But, oh, Chaco with a big kill there. And staying alive. Trying to fish for him with the nade. Cruise missile coming in. A well-thrown trophy system. Literally saving their bacon on that one. That was a 3k in the making if they didn't throw down that trophy. But yeah, a tick will be gained here. They need at least one more to be on paper tied with acrylic. Pierce taking a lot of the aggression being the oh. lightning rod. And all the while, Freaky, Insatiable, got a thirst for blood that cannot be quenched. Running them down, shooting them all, and oh. Daunt, the next tasty snack for Freak 2 Shasty. Looking for more, but he will get stopped just short. Just short, but guess what? They still hop onto that A side, so... In small victories, you get one tick, but oh, Roblox is taking down Choco in another beautiful spot. And now you kind of give up that angle. And look at Savini. He's trying to sneak this second tick onto B, and he might actually get it done. Dot watching over, so it's not over till it's over. Ch Choco, he knows he has to go big. Just bad timing there, but you extend it by a minute. Savini, he actually hops off that B point. He start, tries to help out his teammate. Dot, the only one pushed up. But it's a 10 to 13, so this is doable for infinite. It's just a matter of, again, playing for these kills. You don't need to hop the point right away. You got time to work with. Yep, Savini going in there, but gets vaporized by Kama. Don actually in a really good spot to be a little bit annoying to Piers. Piers is eventually going to have to reposition himself to watch the bottom of the map because no one's watching that. And, oh, doesn't expect the second guy to be there. Big kill for Daunt. And so now he's going to be finding Freak 2 Shicey, assist Vader with the kill. And with that, they should be able to get control over this objective, at least hop onto it. But no, Conwell will catch Vader as the reinforcement tick. And so now uh, he's going to be completely cut off from the rest of his team. Vader going down, and just like he would expect, Daunt can't hold solo and, uh, with all the enemy players around oh. him. Still a really, really good round for Infinite. They've teed themselves up to get the final defensive side, assuming they don't lose this next attack from Acrylic. Assuming they don't, and I think Infinite would need just one capture. So if they get A, they will no matter what have a defense. But again, then you can't let them get ticks. They played a great first or second round defense. If you're infinite, you need to recreate that success. They didn't allow anything to get out of hand. And surprisingly, it's the ARs that are not showing up for infinite right now. Vader, 8 and 18. Roblox kid, 9 and 16. Not necessarily terrible stat lines, but it's just not something that you expect out of the caliber of these types of players. And it just shows to how good Acrylic is. They're playing for middle of the map control. And I want to see Savini's POV, but he gets read out perfectly. Still, the trades are there. And it looks like Acrylic, they can potentially hop on in. No way! Dot with the triple. What just happened? He world starred Acrylic. Ridiculous from Daunt once again. He's been doing that all night, <laughs> dude. And he... He just needs some help, man. Don't, oh my god, almost doing it again. But Pierce technically got that kill, so yeah, a little unfortunate there. But either way, Acrylic starting to make some ground on to be Roblox Kid on the flank, but Pierce is watching it. These guys are just so aware of their surroundings, it's insane. B is being capped as well as is A, so it's looking good for Acrylic to at least get more caps than Infinite Esports. They're looking for two sources of income, just like Infinite Esports did. Yeah, and like you said, uh, what is it with Dot on Alicilo in triples? I think we've seen it every single time. It's absolutely insane. And, oh, a good little break there coming on in from the side of Infinite. And they know Choco is sitting in that spot, but they've only given up one ticket progression. You have a isolated Vader. Not 
at the right angle and oh how did freak get that double no right but it should still be this second tick coming on in so they are going to be tied in that regard so this should come down to lives but you just have a feeling i think it's really, they're going to be up in that regard oh they gotta stop them they gotta go oh, they gotta no. do it but they are not going to be able to sabini trying his damnedest alone but too many people to deal with too many different angles and so infinite now guaranteed to be on the final attacking side are going to have to make sure that they can at least get there first and not lose it in this round right here right now anticipating the push from kama is going to be forcing them off the angle but acrylic they are so deep in there and in here the infinite esports probably as soon as they make this push are going to have a hard time dealing with it and they are finding the kills vader 9 and 23 but it's Don. he's just been the savior oh my god wow if he had an ar i don't think choco wins that one but four kills and vader he just he needs a win he needs a win and he just cannot buy one right now roblox kid trying to hold it down but that's all four members Except you did lose one, so they can get this double stack, but who has been there? It's Choco. He has the trophies galore, and he's doing exactly what he needs to. He's finding a double. Choco, is he going to get the triple? But he's just forcing everybody from Infinite Esports back. And, oh, this is just looking hopeless. As Don, he gets one. It's just not going to be enough. That is all she wrote, and you guessed it correctly. It's going to be a three oh in the series a 3-1 in the map three but acrylic still looking as strong as ever yep acrylic they are my picks to go on and win this thing for a reason dude pures disgusting they all went off this map all 20 plus kills i do believe except for conwell we'll forget about that but getting conwell out of our mind free to chase 26 pures 24 chaco 24 and very very tiny amount of deaths these guys play very well together. They bait each other's kills. They they get each other's trades at the at worst. It's it's just such good teamwork. It's such good rhythm. I it's just something I love about watching them. Yeah, they're incredible to watch to say the least, but my goodness talk about the head glitch master choco what you were doing to them on that top tent area that top balcony was ludicrous it should not have happened my goodness you can't let that player and he just kept earning trophies so he just kept setting them out and again if you are the side of infinite everybody throw nades at the same time just wait for that three players to come on up and guess what one of those stuns, one of those nades, it's going to connect. He's going to have to get back down. You should be able to team shot him. But then again, you had Freak. He was holding that pride walk. So right as they would move into his line of the site, it was too easy. Just the setups, pitcher perfect. Acrylic, again, another 3-0 for them. Yep, and looking past this a little bit, let's bring up the bracket just so we can have an updated understanding of what's going on in here so far. Yep, as you guys are about to see, Infinite Esports did lose. You just saw that, obviously. But we're still waiting on a result from Papa's and New Look Gaming. So either yeah, we've got a banger on? that we missed out on, Graph, like you said, or what is also a likely possibility is that they are having a little, they are having some staggered bathroom breaks. So I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's the first one, and that would be pretty interesting. But yeah, we're still waiting on Grimace Gremlins versus Papa's and these other games, and are a little bit on hold here while we wait for the series is to catch up yeah so before i just want to appreciate everybody sticking with us i know it's late on the east coast i'm not comic are you on the are you on the west coast or east coast oh i am 100 percent on the east coast oh, it Lord. is 1 40 and in the morning for me oh god i'm so sorry and the last series it could go to a map five that's that's the scary thing right because you got acrylic going up against new look gaming but uh, what is going on? I I'm really curious what is happening. Papas and Grimace next uh, new look and Cerberus are already playing. Uh, I think we're going to take a break right now here for round four. We're going to let Papas and Grimace play that one out. We're going to stick around for round five when Acrylic and New Look are going at it. So don't go anywhere. We have one more series to close out pool play. New Look versus the side of Acrylic coming up after this break. <laughs> 